If you want the full version of the video, just skip forwards a little bit. This is a quick overview of all the stuff that this video covers. First of all, lock removal. Uh, there are three locks in the blaster that you re should really remove. Uh, there's one that looks like a rev trigger that you need to hold down in order to use normal trigger. You can just rip all that out. There is a uh, white piece of plastic inside of the top slide. You can take that out. I think that makes it so you can't pull back the top slide if the catch is already engaged. Um, and then finally, there is a trigger lock that attaches to the catch. Uh, and that makes it so you can't fire uh, if the slide is all the way back. Uh, so you can take that out as well. If you want to fix the rotation of your Deuce Pro, inside of the blaster, the rotation mechanism looks kind of like a cylinder uh, with lines going down it, and they're kind of triangular lines. Uh, those are what the plunger engages into in order to do the rotation. Uh, underneath that cylindrical bit that spins the cylinder, uh, there is a little wedge that's a kind of triangular shaped, and that has a spring underneath it. Uh, you take out two screws to get underneath the cylindrical rotation part, and then you can just lift out the wedge. Uh, you need to replace the spring underneath that wedge with something stronger. Uh, I used the spring from a clicky pen, uh, but you need might need to try different brands of clicky pen in order to find one that fits, because it's a slightly tight space. Uh, not all brands will fit. I had one spring that didn't fit and one spring that did fit. The one that did fit, it was about uh, three times stronger, two times stronger than the spring that came in the blaster. Put that in, put back on the rotation mechanism, uh, put in all the screws, closed up the shell but didn't screw it together, and then tested the prime and tested the rotation to make sure that it was working. Then I fully assembled the blaster, and that fully fixed the rotation issues with the blaster unless you are trying to make it fail. So having your hand up against the cylinder while you're trying to make it rotate will still let it fail. However, if you are just using it normally, the uh, likelihood of the cylinder not rotating correctly is greatly reduced. So having that spring stronger is forcing the cylinder to be in a position as opposed to being in between positions and getting stuck. Uh, theoretically, the stronger spring that you have in there, the more reliable that will be. However, if you go too strong, then the internal mechanism of the blaster won't be able to rotate the cylinder when you prime. Uh, so don't go too strong on that spring. Got it? All right, if you don't need any more information, uh, you can just go and do that stuff. However, if you want to watch me uh, point out the bits piece by piece during the video, uh, watch on. This is going to be pretty bad recording, uh, just a heads up, but I'm working on fixing the rotation issues with the Deuce Pro. Uh, there is a piece of plastic underneath this one, which is basically a wedge that keeps this one uh, uh, rotating uh, locked. So these stars are locked into a by notch, which this lever here needs to overcome. You can see right there, there's a little arm which is connected to this. When this is pulled back, it rotates. And then this is connected to by a notch, which is spring-loaded and forces it to not rotate. Uh, so that's what locks it in each chamber. This is the spring that's normally inside of that that notch locky thing. Uh, I'm now going to disassemble this. Uh, there's two screws. There's one screw right there and one screw right there. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a screw right there and a screw right there. Uh, take out those screws. Then this whole assembly, will you'll be able to tilt it up a bit and then pull it out of this bit back here like that. Get to that spring in a moment, uh, but this is that assembly. You can see this is on. It has a star. Here's where the two screws that held it in place were, and then this uh, just spins. And then this is the notch, which locks into this. I'm not sure if you can see that. There you go. So whenever this is rotating, it's locking into this notch, like that. And this notch is spring loaded. So normally, this is the spring that goes on that notch. This is my upgraded spring. This is from a clicky pen, uh, and it is a lot stronger than the one that comes in the blaster. I'm not sure if I can really show that to you, but like, uh, versus, uh, like, 
it, it, it's like two times stronger, maybe three times. Uh, and it still fits in the area. Um, the area is pretty tight, so you might need to like take apart different brands of clicky pen in order to find a spring that's the correct diameter. Uh, but it will, this one will fit. Um, you can see right, oh, let's not have things flying away, right here. You can see that little dimple in there? That's where the spring rests. So take our spring, put it on that dimple, like that. And then we will take this peg, put the notch, or put the, uh, the peg of this thing onto the spring, like that. So it's uh, spring loaded now. And now we're going to cram this down into that cavity as we push this bit. Uh, the back of this goes into this hole here. And then the rest of this, we're going to kind of bend down back to its screw holes, hold it down from the top, and then put those two screws back in. I can't really record that, so I'll get back to you on that. All right, as you can see, we have pushed the uh, peg back into its hole, right, right there. This bit is now on top of it. Yeah, it's gone back into its slot back here, uh, this cavity where this screw needs to be poking out of. Uh, and we will now hold this down with our thumb right here and test this. Make sure that it's still able to rotate, which it is. You'll notice that's a bit, it's a bit uh, beefier um, when trying to rotate it, and that's good. Um, a few things of note while we're in here, uh, just for information-wise, not necessarily for use in this mod. Um, this uh, screw in the back of this white piece comes out, and then this piece here is separate from this piece here. Those two separate, uh, and then there is a spring in there. That spring is what makes the detent for keeping the cylinder in place. That is not what keeps the rotation in lock. It's just uh, for the cylinder swapping. Um, so if you wanted your cylinders to be stronger in the chamber for some reason, you could take that out and replace that spring with something beefier as well. Um, the extension spring down here is just what returns the rotation lever. So there's no reason to upgrade that since the return path doesn't do anything to help with the rotation. It's just this backwards stroke, and that spring uh, doesn't really do anything with that in, in regards to making the rotation better. So now, after I tested that this is still rotating, which it is, this is rotating right here, um, I'm now going to put in that screw and that screw to keep this all in place. Uh, real quick, the screws that I'm putting back in are the same as the shell screws. Uh, this is the one that came out of that hole inside. This is a normal shell screw uh, from the rest of the blaster, and they are the same. So you don't need to keep them separated. Uh, from this point, I'm just going to assemble the rest of the blaster, but you can see these two screws are now back in, and this is still rotating just fine, um, making sure that none of the other parts have popped out. Um, I also removed, uh, there's a lock that pivots on this pin in the top of the slide. I removed that. I removed the lock down here, which keeps the trigger in check, and then there was some lock right here, which I think was making it so you can't deprime it. Um, so now you can deprime it. Now you can take back the slide when it's primed, uh, and now you can pull the trigger without having to pull this down. I think that was, that's what those three locks did. The one in the top slide makes it so you can't pull back the top slide when it's already uh, caught and primed. Um, the trigger or the lock right here makes it so you can't fire it uh, when the slide is back. Uh, and then this lock makes it so you can't fire it unless the rev trigger looking thing was pulled down. Um, and removing this whole thing leaves a little gap in the front of the shell, but it doesn't, you can't feel it really when holding it. It doesn't cause any issues. Um, one other thing, one other thing to keep in, uh, keep in mind when you are disassembling your Deuce Pro is that you don't want to lose this bit. This bit right here. Oop. This bit right here is also what keeps the cylinder in place. So it's a combination of this being spring-loaded right here, and this piece right here being like a clip that keeps it in place in the front. 
that's not screwed in or anything. That's just loose, so it can fall out. Don't let it. Don't don't lose it. Um, now we'll put back in the plunger. Actually, I haven't disassembled the plunger, so uh, I guess we'll just. Here's here's the spring. Here is the plunger. It is oval shaped. Uh, it has a screw in the front. It's oval shaped. Uh, here's the inside of the plunger tube. Seems fine. Here's the front of the ram. You don't want to trim out this stuff because then you might have problems with like the dart being squeezed inside that hole somehow. Uh, but whatever. Uh, that can go back in there. I want to make sure that this notch is indeed... Which way do I want that facing? Alright, now we're going to put back in our plunger tube. Uh, you want to have it aligned like this. So you have your tube on the bottom. Bottom, right here. And then you have your catch facing up. So, like this, catches up, tube's on the bottom. And that will sit in just like that. You want the catch facing like that, so it can catch into the catch. Don't forget your spring. As you can see, this is now together. Spring has gone into its thing. That is in the correct location. Uh, the notch, I'm not sure if I can flip this over without crap falling out, but the, no, I can't. The notch on the other side of the plunger has gone into its slot on the other side. And once again, this piece can fall out easily. So uh, make sure that it stays in there. And now, with all the locks removed, um, the lock here, here, and the one in the slide, and the spring underneath this piece, the uh, little wedge down there, upgraded, uh, I'm now going to reassemble this. Before putting all of your shell screws in, uh, you can put on your top slide, uh, but without screws, so you can just kind of hold it in place, make sure that the notches here and on the other side are aligned with these uh, holes right here, and that this pin is going into this post. There we go. Now I can just hold this together and hold the rest of the blaster together and do a test prime. It is catching just fine, chambering just fine, and I can plug the barrel and fire. And it fires just fine. Now I'm going to do that again. I'm going to test the rotation, uh, make sure that it's still rotating and locking in place and all that jazz correctly. Uh, that seems to be locking in place just fine. Uh, is it coming out just fine? Yep, comes out just fine. Rotation is just fine. Now, I'm checking to make sure that that upgrade to the wedge in there is making the uh, rotation more reliable with its over rotating and not lining up the chamber. But it seems. Oh, that's because I had my hand on the other side of the blaster. But it seems. seems a lot more vigorous and it's locking in place. I'm just using my hands on the other side to rotate this. Can I get it to stay in, in the middle though? Yes, but not as easily as I could before. Alright, so that's a pretty easy fix. Uh, I'm now going to take this off and put in all of the screws. That screw, that screw, that screw, that screw, and that screw right there. Uh, worth noting that you don't need to take out this screw when disassembling the blaster because this screw is just holding uh, this whole front assembly in place. Uh, all of this stuff is a different piece than the rest of the shell, so you don't need to take out that screw. But yeah, I'm now going to reassemble this. It's worthwhile noting that when putting in toy screws, uh, which have this coarse thread, uh, you want to put the screw into the hole uh, and then twist backwards until it kind of jumps a bit, like that. Right there. And that is the thread going back into the hole that it came from. Uh, that prevents you from cross-threading it, which is when the threads don't line up, 
and it chews up the plastic, and that makes it so that this thread, this hole can strip out over time, and then the screw does nothing uh, for holding it together. So uh, back up a bit until it clips down, and then go in. It will go in a lot smoother. When putting back on the top slide, uh, you want to make sure that this rod right here is lining up with this hole right here, and that these pegs on both sides of the plunger are lining up with these holes right here. So I will line up that peg back there, and then make sure that that's going there. Uh, you can then put in these screws here and here first, test the prime, and then you can put in the last uh, three screws. Now, once your top slide is on, you can then line up your uh, two halves of the brick. As you can see, these just go on simply if you're not trying to look at a camera instead of doing the actual thing. Okay. Simply, and then this half goes on, like that, and then all of these screws. Now that the blaster is fully put together, uh, Sorry that I can't really show you much. My camera rig is a phone balanced on top of a uh, water bottle. Um, now you can fully test uh, your blaster. So you can prime it. Prime works. You can test the rotation. It's working very well. You can fully put this back. You can still take this and prime it more if you want now that we remove those locks. There's no trigger lock here that you need to hold down in order to fire. And you can even deprime. So I can have this back and pull the trigger in order to deprime. Uh, and the rotation here is now much more reliable that we upgraded that spring. Uh, I can still force it to fail if I'm like dragging my fingers against it while I'm priming. You can kind of like get it to bounce in between chambers. None of these are fails, because as soon as I let go, it's going back into location. But I can, like, bounce it there manually. Like, right there. That's that's not in chamber, but if I, like, barely touch it, it will go into chamber, since we upgraded that spring. Uh, you can also do that if you kind of, like, spam. If you try and spam the rotation, you can get it to catch. Like that. Uh, but you're not doing that in normal play. So this has made this a lot more reliable in rotation, and the and the blaster still fires very well. Um, you can also slap your uh, extendo barrel back on it. And there you go. There is your upgraded, uh, not upgraded, your fixed, your fixed uh, deuce prop. Uh, with locks removed, back here, and chamber rotation uh, made better.